What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So first off, I want to say I love the response that I've been getting. I asked you guys who you guys think are hidden gems and you guys have been responding and I love it. I'm going to try out all those fighters and you know, I'm going to be the judge. Well, I want you guys to be the judge today and we're going to be talking about this man right here. Dan 50k Ige, I feel like he doesn't get used enough. I don't feel like he gets the credit enough. His stats are pretty good. But to me, that's not what I feel makes him a hidden gem. But you guys are going to see. So so first off, look at all these perks he has. Fast hands, carved of wood, weather and storms to your feet, pay to miss, really good perks. He has all five perk stats for being, you know, a bottom, like in the bottom of the top 15. And... You know, fast hands, helps with its punch speed and, and its accuracy. Carved of wood, helps with its health. But look at these stats, man. Punch speed and punch power, both 93. His accuracy comes up with the fast hands perk. Blocking is pretty good. That I, I believe weather and storms helps with that. Head movement's good, footwork's good. Switch stance is 86, which, is, which isn't the lowest. The lowest is 80. Takedown defense is pretty good. Kick power and kick speed aren't the greatest, but I'm going to get to that in a minute here. And then his grappling is pretty decent. He only has a few stats that are, you know, 88. Everything else is 90, man. And then uh, his cardio is good. His chin's good. His body's the only thing you got to worry about, but that, uh, that force of nature, I mean, uh, carved a wood perk helps with that it adds plus three when you have less when you have less health so that's gonna bring it up to a 92 his legs are good and his and his recovery is good so we're gonna get into his move levels I usually don't show this but this is why I feel he is a hidden gem because of his move levels he has really good punch levels and kick levels for being a lower tier fighter look at that jab level four jab Level 4 lead hook, rear hook, level 4, level 4 body hook. He has a lot of level 4 punches that, you know, fighters that are down there don't have. So I feel like they, you know, and move levels matter. Trust me, go use somebody with low move levels, then use someone with, uh, with high move levels, and you're going to see a difference. You really are. A lot of people don't think they matter. No, they do matter. They, they really do. Just just trust me on that. And he has a lot of good kicks, as, you, as you're seeing. A lot of guys have those level 2 freaking junk animations. Look, let's compare him to, to the champ. Even uh, Volkanovski has a level 2 uh, body roundhouse. And then he has, you know, look... Like a lot of one star stuff here, man, for uh, Volkanovski. And then look, Dan Ige, you know, even his body kicks, I mean, uh, his teeps and his front kicks are, are at least level two. So, you know, and he has this kick right here that I know a lot of people like. The, the spinning side kick to the head. But everything else is also pretty solid, even for takedowns, you know, it's all, all level twos, but. Some some guys don't have that. They usually have like level ones or. But and then he has boxing combos, only level three. But that works for me. Kick boxing combos level one and Muay Thai level two. But yeah, man. I mean that that's good enough for me. But you guys be the judge. I'm gonna go get a match and yeah, we'll see what see what we can do here. All right. Wow. This dude's beating me four times. So. uh... I expect a challenge here. <laughs> yes, I am playing on an alt account. I do that from time to time. So. But anyway, yeah, this guy's beat me four times. <laughs> so. Just gotta, just gotta be real careful here. Just gotta be real, real careful. There we go. But yeah, man, again, Ige is long as well. Oh, dropped him with a straight. Yeah, just, he just feels good, man. Like, 
in the game. He just feels, he feels fast, he feels smooth. And that's what I feel kind of like a hidden gem is. Like, they might not have the best stats. They might not have the best move levels. Or, or they might just be underrated. Like, like Dan Ige is so underrated. Ooh, okay. Got taken down, but that's okay. He's so underrated, but he, but he shouldn't be. That's that that's another um, characteristic of a hidden gem as well. Like because there's no reason for him to be underrated. He has good stats. He has good move levels. You know, there's all kinds of definitions of hidden gems. Everybody's gonna have their own. But I feel like there's a few definitions. Cause Dan E game man. A lot of people ask for him, including myself, but a lot of people don't use him. A lot of people ask for Calvin Cater. People don't use him. Why ask for these guys if, you, if you're not going to use these fighters, man? A lot of people ask for Islam. Don't really see him too much in ranked. You really don't. At least, at least I haven't. So many people want these fighters and then they don't use them. I said, just gotta try to be careful. I mean, use his boxing. I will try to use my kicks when I can, but I'll probably lose here. But I, I don't really care. I still feel Dan Ige uh, throwing that kick too close in the pocket. Yeah, I don't like this. We're kind of clashing here, so I gotta try to. Trying to attack his legs to maybe slow him down a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna switch southpaw. I'm trying to kind of explode every time I'm in, like in the pocket. I'm trying to use those uh, those hooks and, and the uppercuts. There we go. Don't care for going to my body. About the marshal, mind you. Ooh. I don't know why that didn't hit him. It definitely connected. You guys, you guys see that, man? This game sometimes, man. This game. Hit detection sometimes just does not. Ah, uh, crazy. So I'm going to try to put a little bit more pressure on this round. Oh, we got him rocked already. Yes, set him down. But we're gonna, you know, we'll always do it smart. Anytime I say I'm gonna put pressure on somebody, I'm gonna try to do it smart. All right, this guy's hitting me, so I gotta give him a little bit of space. He's doing the right thing. He's fighting back, so he's getting a little bit of my respect. So I just gotta give him a little bit of space, but then gonna go right back at it. He's also kicking the shit out of my legs, so you gotta be aware of that. But but he's also trading. You guys see that? If not, rewind it back. Ooh, got him rocked. But I stepped in and threw a combination while while he uh, while he threw a leg kick. So he kind of traded the leg kick for, you know, for head health, so to speak. Just go back and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I really want to beat this guy, man. Poor oh man, how how did I let him ooh, drop him there? I'll take I'll take it man. I'll take this finish. Alright, you guys know what we're gonna do from here. When I see the opportunity, I'm gonna go stack guard. Man, I just don't understand how this guy four owed me, like I've been destroying him. Maybe I just got that much better, I don't know. Let's go. Oh, no. He's trying to block. I don't know what he was doing there. I don't know if he just gave up. What? But I will take that finish, man. I will take that finish. I don't know how this guy far owed me, but but he did. He did, man. He always seemed to find a way, I guess. I just don't remember. You think I'd remember some guy far owed me, but like I remember the name. I just don't know how like he would beat me. 
because he has a weird name. Fupa Hunter or something like that. But yeah, man. Anyway, Dan Ige. You guys be the judge. Go try him out, seriously. Even if it's just in quick match. He just feels so good, man. You know, he has the length. He, uh... And, like, he just flows. It, feel, it just feels like he flows good. Like, he... I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. But he also has good kicks, which I didn't really showcase much in this fight. Because you guys know me, man. I'm just more of, like, a boxer type. But he has good ground and pound, too, as you guys saw. And just... I was rocking this guy, you know, every... Every chance I really had. I rocked him, what, like, three... Three times in the first round, then just... Then again, three times in this round. And we, we were able to get him out of there. I know he was using to beat, but, you know, it is what it is. If I had time to get another match in ranked, I would. But just right now... Like, like the weight class is over. Because I only had, like, five minutes when I... When I jumped on here. But go do... Go use him. Go use him, and you guys be the judge. But anyway, that's enough for me. Uh... Of course, if you guys like the video, you guys don't do, leave a like, subscribe, do all that, man. But if you don't do any of that, if you don't do any of that, the most important thing, have a good day, and I will see you in the next one.